Hello, happy campers. My name's Nikki. Welcome to You Go Camping. Okay, in today's video, we're going to discuss four things that I always take camping that is not mentioned on many lists, but I think is really important. Um, so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing is something that I actually discuss quite a lot on this channel and across our blog, which you can see here, um, because it's just made such a big difference to my life. And this is sacred socks. Now these, <laughs> we call them sacred socks because they are supposed to live in the tent and they don't leave the tent. So that means they don't get wet and they don't get cold. So when you've been out all day and you're a little bit cold and you're a little bit damp and you want to kind of snuggle down into a sleeping bag, you know you've always got a lovely, lovely pair of warm socks to wear. Now these are smart wool socks. So you can see that the front here, or inside, sorry, is merino wool and it's all nice and furry. It's absolutely lovely. They're a little bit expensive smart wool socks, but I would 100% recommend them. I've had them for years and they have no signs of dying on me yet. And to be honest, I wear these around my house like slippers. So I'd 100% recommend these. If you don't want to go for smart wool socks, a nice pair of merino wool walk-in socks. I think I got these from Mountain Warehouse, I think. I'll pop a link in the description below anyway. But these are just bog standard um, winter walk-in socks. So they're a little bit thicker in the foot area if you can see that there we go so they're a little bit thicker in the foot area nice and nice and warm and fuzzy so i would 100 percent recommend taking a pair of sacred socks with you camping and leaving them in your sleeping bag or leaving them in your tent just so that they don't get wet or cold or anything like that because it makes such a difference to come back to have a nice pair of socks on you the second thing i always suggest taking with you is some insect repellent now a lot of people won't take insect repellent because they don't think it's kind of anything to worry about. I was one of those people until I camped in Scotland in 2015. Those Highland midges, man, they can really, they can really bite. So this is actually from a company called Smidge, um, Smidge that midge. It's possibly the best insect repellent I've ever used. It's deep free and it doesn't actually smell too bad either. Um, I wouldn't wear its perfume, but if it repels midges, I'm happy because those things are evil. But this is really, really good stuff. Um, as you can see, it's been in my bag for a while now, so it's been pretty beaten up, but this lasts for ages as well. So I really recommend a good insect repellent. The third thing I'd recommend taking with you is bar soap. Now, this um, there's a couple of reasons for taking bar soap. One of them is because generally bar soap is a little bit more eco-friendly. Obviously not all of them are, but a little bit more eco-friendly for when you're kind of living outside for a, a few days. Um, when, you're trying, when you're camping, you want to be a little bit closer to nature. So you want to be trying to be as less impactful as possible. Now we've actually got a blog all about how to reduce your impact, um, how to reduce your environmental impact when you're camping. So check the link below, we'll pop that on there. But taking bar soap with you just means that you're just being a little bit more planet friendly. Um, and also, obviously the second bonus is they're not gonna leak everywhere. So you're not gonna wake up, or you're not gonna open your backpack to find your shampoo has leaked all over your bag, which is what has happened to us on numerous occasions. <laughs> so yeah, this is really good. Um, this is actually Faith in Nature. It's the coconut version. I bought it a couple of days ago, so I haven't used it yet, but it's absolutely lovely because I've replaced all of my soap at home with bar soap because that cuts down on my single use plastics. Um, this is actually a shampoo bar. These are lovely. My hair absolutely adores shampoo bars. So I always use shampoo and conditioner bars. Again, they're not gonna leak. Now normally you can get shampoo bars that, and they come in these little um, metal tins, which are really great and you can just pop it up like that. And you've got somewhere to keep your shampoo bar then. Uh, you can get them in all kinds of places. We'll stick some links below, but you can get them online. Um, there is a particularly famous soap retailer in the UK which I'm not going to name uh, you can shop there if that's somewhere you want to shop it's not personally somewhere I would shop but you can shop there if you wish to so there's quite a few places but I'll pop some links below but definitely switch to bar soap and you'll just know you'll notice the difference you'll notice that you're being more planet friendly and you're not going to have leaky shampoo and soap everywhere all over your bag now the last thing I always take with me is a pair of 
waterproof trousers. Now, I know what you're thinking. They're not very fashionable. And to be honest, I'm not a very fashionable person, but these are particularly ugly. <laughs> I have to give you that. Uh, but everyone says to take a waterproof jacket and I 100% agree with that. But if you can get a pair of waterproof trousers as well, then it's gonna make a huge bit of difference. If you've got to run out of your tent and repeg your guy ropes, or even if you've just got to run across the um, campsite to go to the loo, it makes a big difference to have a nice set of waterproof trousers on you. Because it just means that you're not gonna to have to get your own trousers and everything wet. Um, I remember camping in Oxfordshire once, I was in the middle of a storm, and the next morning I decided I was gonna actually drive home put my stuff in the tumble dryer, grab a new tent because my tent had been destroyed and then come back to the campsite with my friends. Um, <laughs> and I literally drove home in waterproof trousers that were covering up pyjamas because they were the only things that I could wear that were dry. So yeah, if you don't mind wearing something that really isn't the world's most fashionable piece of clothing, then I would go for a set of waterproof trousers. They're not very breathable, as you'll see the insides, the inside is quite rubbery. But that's okay, because you're only going to be wearing these for a few minutes at a time, I'm guessing. But yeah, waterproof trousers and a waterproof jacket is my number four. So that was four things that I think you should take with you when you go camping. Um, hopefully you'll find something in there that you didn't think of and you think, oh, that's a great idea. If you've got any more must-haves that are not on every normal list, do drop them below in the comments. It'd be really interesting to see what you think and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.